What's up, y'all? So as you maybe guessed from context clues, from maybe the fact that whatever I titled this video, if I went very literal, if I went funny, odd, maybe super hyperbolic, who knows, that this video isn't a lot like my other videos. It's something just a bit different. And really, I think we should just consider this sort of an off-the-cuff kind of chat. And to be honest, I really struggled with how to approach making this video because as a YouTuber, I'm always thinking of, do people actually want to watch this video? Will people actually care about me talking for five to 10 minutes about something that, you know, is close to my heart and maybe close to theirs? I don't know. I mean, essentially, this video is intended for, and I don't mean to gatekeep in any way. In fact, I am very anti-gatekeeping, but Really, I think this video is aimed at those who watch my videos every week, those who look forward to the Friday releases, and those who actually maybe care about the future of this channel and will likely notice these upcoming changes. And I felt those who watch regularly really deserved, you know, a video, whether it be formal, informal, or whatever you want to call this, being upfront about these upcoming changes, you know, how it will affect the content, how it will affect me, how it will affect you as a viewer, when they'll happen, how they'll happen, and you know, just be upfront about my feelings and thoughts about making coffee content, making these videos, and just everything in between. So essentially, I've been making YouTube videos for about five years. And for the first two years, I was working full-time as a coffee roaster and went full-time very end of 2019, really early 2020. And we all know what was happening during 2020. And for better or for worse, you know, that going on in the world really allowed me to, you know, put my head down and focus on creating content and creating videos and just really focus on building this channel and my brand as Prometheus. Um, and through doing that, I also was able to basically neglect everything else. And like many folks during that time, I really was focusing down on things that gave me joy and really focused down on things that occupied my mind and my time because it really felt like time slowed down to an absolute crawl. And because what I do was also my passion and also something I'm really interested in and my work was done at home, I could just do it all the time. I had nowhere to go, I had nothing to do, so that was it. So I just made the most of that time. And of course, you know, all of that work was rewarded handsomely by the algorithmic gods because I was constantly feeding them. I was posting all the time. I was making videos all the time, very consistently. But through all of that process, I completely destroyed my work-life balance. And honestly, I have really no one to blame for that than myself. In the back of my mind while I was doing all this, I had this little voice telling me that, hey, this can't last forever. You can't continue this same rate of work when the world starts to open back up. You should start working on trying to even things out. You should start working on allowing yourself some time to not be working. Um, and I ignored it. And so here we are in 2023 and I am neck deep in that struggle. Don't tell, don't tell the specialty coffee gods I'm drinking right now. Forgive me. Anyway, on top of all that, the constant grind of YouTube is no joke. For example, I tried to kind of claw back a bit of my work-life balance early this year. I took two weeks off in January, and through that two weeks, my channel completely fell off the algorithm, um, resulting in a loss of thousands of subscribers a month, hundreds of thousands of views a month, um, and for real, it's scary. And to be clear, I'm not here to become famous. I'm not here to become rich. Um, but this is my job. And when your paycheck relies on views, it's really scary. And it affected my life both on and off the camera. But this issue had, I would say, a bit of a silver lining where it brought me to a realization. And it made me realize that, you know, I'm closer to 40 than I am to 30. I am a homeowner. I have a chronic illness. I have responsibilities and things that need to get done outside of YouTube, outside of creating content and the process and workflow that I developed through the pandemic just isn't sustainable for a solo creator. 
So in an effort to develop just a more balanced work-life relationship um, with myself and my life on top of making coffee content and still continuing to make uh, the content and the videos that I want to, that I'm proud of, I'm going to have to make some changes. The transition itself into these changes will be slow in some cases and immediate in others. When it comes to things that are going to be happening immediately, um, I will be closing my Patreon. Now, I know that kind of seems antithetical to complaining or being concerned about my income and no one wants to take a pay cut, but I also happen to feel like I wasn't really providing uh, Patreon supporters with value. And whether or not you, you're a Patreon supporter, if you are, whether or not you agree with that is fine. Um, a lot of people, as I mentioned this to them, they were like, well, I'm here to support you making videos. And of course, I massively appreciate every single dollar I've received through my Patreon for the last few years. You've really helped offset the burden on my shoulders of uh, buying things for the videos, whether it be coffee, water, milk, uh, buying gear, equipment. This camera I'm filming on was bought on Patreon funds. So it's just been a huge help, but I feel like I'm not giving you what you maybe join the Patreon for. So, uh, and I don't wanna stress about that. So I'm going to be shutting that off. But as I let go of the Patreon, I will be bringing on YouTube memberships to kind of uh, create something that's all encompassing so I only have one website to worry about. So I will be doing YouTube memberships to join them. There's a little join button down below the video next to the title and my channel name, I believe. Um, you can click on that on this video or any of my videos. Another immediate change that will happen is at the end of this month, I'll also be shutting off my blog at Spermetheus.com. Now the URL will stay active. If you go to Spermetheus.com after this video, it will just redirect you here to YouTube. But if you didn't know, I have this website. I started it before the channel. This channel was actually designed to basically bolster the content, the written content I did on that page. Um, over time, that page essentially just became a portal to YouTube, just using Google SEO and things like that. But over time, I just realized I was spending a lot of time writing short blurbs, um, getting pictures, thumbnails, doing things differently to create a website that just wasn't really bringing me any joy, any benefit. And even though the, the website was getting a decent amount of clicks, I think that those people would still find my videos via Google search. So I'm just gonna shut that off because it was just really no benefit to anyone. And finally, the main event and probably the slowest occurring change that's gonna happen is going to be on my videos and their contents. So first thing I should say that all of the videos and the video styles that I produced right now will still be made and they'll still be produced, but they just won't be produced at the same consistency or rate, although I still will be posting every Friday. I'll still be reviewing equipment, I'll still be doing educational videos, I'll still be doing opinion pieces, but over this time on YouTube, I have felt sort of the excitement and the passion of for coffee and the enjoyment of coffee kind of leaving me. And that's a concern, right? So I want to also now focus on making content that is more connected to coffee, more about the enjoyment of coffee, um, more about the, the process and the tangible experience. And I know that that's really just a very broad sort of category, but that's also by design because uh, as I start to try and rebuild my channel up to where it was uh, prior to my break in January, it sort of is giving me this opportunity to essentially reinvent myself in a way, essentially reinvent the channel, bring in uh, more new and unique viewers, more people who are interested in other categories of coffee, uh, and really try to explore more different video styles. So you'll definitely be seeing more cinematic stuff. You'll be seeing more like those ASMR videos. Uh, you'll be seeing more vlog style things like cafe visits, if I can ever really figure those out. Uh, more longer form content, more educational, maybe historical content. And I've also been toying with the idea of doing a podcast with, of course, a video component, uh, if I can figure out the logistics of that. So that's just some stuff that's sort of bouncing around in my head and that I plan on doing in the future. But I think that's really it. That's all I've got to say at the moment. I just wanted to get that stuff out there. I wanted to get people to understand 
where I was coming from, if they're seeing changes in the content in the direction of the channel, um, it's still going to be coffee facing, coffee forward, but I still wanna be doing you know more stuff. I wanna just be exploring coffee um, more outside of this room, um, but also more, um, like I said, focusing on the enjoyment, the experience, the tangible experience of coffee uh, than just teaching specific ideas, techniques, talking about certain pieces of gear, which is stuff I'll still be doing, of course. But um, I don't want my legacy as a coffee person, as a YouTuber, or I'm just a person in general to be one that is associated with doing reviews of coffee equipment and essentially working as essentially a proxy salesperson. That's never been my goal. Um, I'm not here to sell you things. I'm not here to promote things. I just want to share my experiences with products. If you end up buying a product that I talk about because of my review, that's really not my aim. And that's why I never do um, any sort of codes uh, promo codes or um, affiliate links with equipment that I review and things like that. It's just to keep that on level. But uh, in the end, I just want to be remembered as somebody who brought more to coffee than that. And of course, lastly, thank you for watching. If this is your first video, which is probably unlikely, um, hopefully this isn't your last video. And if you've been with me since the beginning, uh, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for you know letting me do what I love and hopefully I can continue to love it and continue to um, create content that you get something from, whether that be learning something, whether that be feeling something, or whether that be helping you experience something different in coffee. That's gonna be my end goal when it comes to this channel. So um, hopefully you're along for the ride. Hit that subscribe button. And uh, as always, I'll see y'all next week. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell button for notifications of new videos posted every Friday. Check out my Instagram at Spromethius for content throughout the week. Help support the channel by considering becoming a channel member for exclusive access. And as always, stay caffeinated. Pony boy.